Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing fine, and well, I decided to, uh, to make this final video for my, my anxious adventure in Japan. Kinda, let's call it kinda like a bonus, a bonus episode that I decided to go with. In order to commemorate that, that I finally released the final episode uh, a few days ago, and I felt that in order to to really, really finish this, I decided to make uh, to record this this vlog in order to uh, to give you a little bit of my final thoughts and some missing things that I didn't put on uh, on on the videos about my the, the trip that I did last year. First of all. Uh, uh, of course, I want to thank you everyone who saw the videos and, and I hope you all enjoy it. Because, here's the thing, um, when, you, when you get into anime, even when you are kind of like a child, you get these fantasies that you just want to visit that country in order to, you know, see the origins of anime and all this thing. You know, like a, like a typical weeaboo. I'm technically guilty of that. Um, but I, I always felt like I did want to, to travel to this place. Of course, uh, during that, uh, it, it, traveling to Japan is really expensive and you need a lot of careful planning in order to go through almost the majority of the things that you wanted to go to, to do. So, uh, uh, so, I do remember that I was saving, uh, saving for, for a long time until I finally decided to, you know what? The time has come, and th and that time I did, which came in which I, uh, I I bought the ticket. I began to plan the you know the places that I wanted to do, and and then finally it it was you know, I was at May May twenty of nineteen twenty nineteen in which I finally gave myself the trip that I always wanted to do, and not gonna lie. I was nervous at the fir at first, but at the same time excited so much that, in, in, uh, as you can see during the vi uh, during the video, I did explain that during that whole night, I was <laughs> I was well, I was so excited that so anxious that I couldn't even sleep. And I highly suggest you that if you go to countries like like that with a different time time zone. Uh, try to not to sleep so you can sleep uh, sleep it off uh, on uh, uh, on the plane, especially if you're anxious on uh, inside the planes. I usually get anxious, you, you know, being being on high, and it was the first time for me that I traveled 13 hours inside a plane. I I was in bus travels that lasted eight hours, but never uh, kind of like almost a whole half day, which uh, which I, I, do, I do remember that it was during the final two three hours that my mind was going insane so much that in order to pass some time, I decided to watch this shitty movie called Teen Titans Go. I don't care what people say. That movie sucks. I this kind of shows how that there are some people who who they really like to take the level of cartoons and they confuse uh, you know childish antics with mean spiritedness. And there's there's a lot of mean spirited things and a lot of retarded things that this that this movie has. It's only I think that bullies created this film. Although, to give it credit at least, there are a few parts that I do find it funny, like the Stan Lee things, the, uh, uh, when they go back in time was a little bit of a clever joke, even though a little bit cynical, and the, and the final line where Robin said, say, say, kids, ask your parents where children come from. It was kind of a little bit hilarious. Uh, that, I'm going to give it credit to that. Uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, yeah, the the biggest motive that I'm doing on this video is is to tell you some of these things like kind of like a rambling parent, you know, or a grandparent telling your your grandchild, uh, you remember the time when I went to Japan and all these things. That, yeah, basically like that. So I'll try to, but 
as you can see, I even recollected here some of the some of the stuff that I uh, that I recollected during during this trip, and and it, so yeah. So what did I did after I landed uh, on the plane? Well, I did. Uh, I also forgot to mention that I was sitting at the, next to the, a Viet Vietnamese family who were on their way to Vietnam and really nice. They even gave me a cookie. That was nice of them. So anyway, yeah, I landed the plane. I, and then I, I, at first I was kind of nervous. During that time, uh, I, I, it was pretty much, it, it was pretty much hard, hard for me to, to go on with my, with the smartphones that I had in which Unfortunately, I didn't have an iPhone during that time. I had, um, I, I, I had kind of like those cheap smartphones that it was really, really outdated. So I had to carry them. And uh, unfortunately, with these, with these things, the Wi-Fi suck. It was, uh, the Wi-Fi on, on uh, these, of these things, they reset the signal really, really bad and really slow. So it was really hard to, hard to adapt with, and uh, adapt with it. This is why a lot of times when it, when I wanted to navigate, I had to to write to write on paper, you know, the maps or ask people for directions and all these things. So I gotta admit that this was a really really challenging part of the of the travels, especially since I was doing very very old school. Again, I didn't have an iPhone at that time, so so thank goodness that I finally uh, uh, bought an iPhone and now things got easier. But, well, sometimes, and what's an adventure without difficulties? Let me tell you guys a funny story once uh, I, my plane arrived, uh, landed in Japan. Well, here's the thing. After, uh, uh, after getting some information... Okay. Let me tell you a funny story, guys. Uh, once, uh, once I finally arrived to Japan, I pick up the train that will lead me to the, the Yamanota line, so it could, it could lead me to Akihabara. I was, I, I was walking around looking for the hostel because I was, you know, I, I wanted to rest. I wanted to, I wanted to be on a bed. Um, it was raining, um, so I was a little bit lost. Uh, but, and so. I was just going around the place, kind of like a kind of like a lost puppy, and asking directions as as much as I could because my Japanese is very limited. So I was getting hopelessly lost until I de I decided to to go to a police station in order to help me find it because they told me that if you get lost, the police stations are kind of like the best place place to give you directions. I told him, well, I'm looking to this hostel. Uh, I don't remember what was the name of the, of the hostel. You know what? I'll put it here. Uh, so, uh, so I asked him, please, can I find this hostel? And yeah, sure. It's right in the corner. <laughs> uh, I gave out kind of like a huge trip for nothing. But anyway, yeah, it was a nice place. Um, I I thought that they were gonna give me, you know, a, a room with a door like I usually pay, you know, like I paid on, uh, 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 like you know, you know where you find it, and uh, but no, it was just kind of like a small room with a curtain, which honestly still beats, uh, uh, still beats uh, kind of like uh, being on a cap. On a capsule in, 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 in this kind of place, yeah, especially for a tall person like me. But anyway, the, that first day I just I, I just rest. Uh, then I went outside to eat something. I wanted some ramen, and well, that's pretty much it. I got ready for the second day, in which I I, I woke up at 5 a.m. In which. The sun came out at that time, which was surprising to me because I'm not used to see the sun come out at, at 5 a.m. Uh, so you see, uh, so most of the things that you see are on the video. But one thing that I didn't tell you is that the Shrine of Mesacado is, is really, really hard to find. And it surprised me that this small shrine, which is dedicated to one of the founders of Japan, 
It was between me uh, metropolitan bu buildings and feel like kind of forgotten. It, it, it was kind of like a weird sight. And, and I'm not exactly very happy with the, sh with the shots that I, that I, that, that I, I got. Mostly because there was a construction uh, going around on the, uh, uh, on the back of it. So that kind of ruins it. So I apologize if when I'm talking during that, I, I, I kind, I, I, you kind of hear these noises. And then uh, you also see me going to the Pokemon Cafe, which I made a reservation. Uh, 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 kind of like early, before I went to the trip, is that you had to make that reservation in order to get your seat. Because uh, cafe reservations uh, is very strict in, in, in Japan. And by the way, thanks to that reservation, I also paid some extra to get this cute little Eevee, this cooking Eevee that <laughs> I really like it. <laughs> I, I prefer the, uh, an Eevee more than a Pikachu. I find Pikachu cute, but it's overrated. <laughs> uh, so anyway, the, the third day, as you can see, I, I'm, uh, I decided to, uh, I decided to go to the 40 Center Run and, uh, uh, shrine uh, in which uh, I edit, I got educated a lot about the 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 story the story of revenge, but I also went to Shibuya in order in which I I went to this this Genki the Genki sushi restaurant in which it I that kind of became kind of like my favorite place to eat M mostly because. Uh, the sushi there is really good. It was my first time eating uh, sushi in a conveyor belt. Um, so you're gonna get your fills there. So it was really nice. Um, uh, one of the production notes that I do want to tell you is that I always intended to, to have some variety during uh, uh, making during this episode. Uh, and this was technically the first episode that I was using um, um, uh, this old microphone that when you, if you see at the beginning of the episode, once I finish making the recording of my voice of this episode, uh, the, the microphone died. It's, um, let me tell you guys, um, I want to apologize if most of my voice albers are not exactly high uh, high quality it's because when it's about sounds i'm very amateurish and and but this but this episode in particular it was a little bit too close to me because the microphone i was using was actually a gift of a deceased old friend in which i have high respect to it and when I got my new microphone, um, I didn't have the heart to uh, to uh, to eliminate uh, to redo everything. Also because of pure laziness, but well, uh, you can you can debate that. But I still wanted to keep you know keep out keep out the last remnants of this of that microphone, which which. Well, which in contrast, yeah, you, you can see that it's kind of broken compared to the new microphone, which works a lot better. But continuing on with my third day, one of the things that, that you notice is that during, the, during my whole stay in Shibuya, I was mostly hunting for a lot of the locations from the game The World Ends With You. And I did find most of it kind of almost at once. I didn't, I, it's almost like I didn't need the Reaper to give me the, the timer to, uh, to fulfill the mission. But the thing is that the, the, the wall that is the biggest inspiration of the cat mural of that game was actually the hardest thing to do. So much that I went uh, kind of like uh, 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 almost to the, to the edge of the of the metropolitan part part of Shibuya to try to get there, but no avail. I, I, I thought that I almost went off the city to get there. Um, and it was getting too late so much that I returned until I find out that I was very close, but not enough when uh, on, uh, on, the, on the internet. So, uh, so this is why uh, on the next day, which I had planned to stay on Tokyo Tower, 
I decided to go to Shibuya very, very, very early in order, in order to find the, the, the wall. I got lost a little bit more, kind of, but not as much as the last time, but I did found it. I did found it and got my shot. And then I picked the taxi to get me to get me to Tokyo Tower. And being there is also one of the best experiences that I had because not only is it because of the Tokyo Tower, but also the One Piece Tower, which I'm a big fan of the of that animated series. And I was there just in time to as a kind of like an uh, like a crazy otaku to celebrate the birthday, well the the canonical birthday of one of my one of my favorite characters of the series, which is uh, which is the the rabbit mink named Carrot. I'm a big fan of her so much that <laughs> so much that I, I I even have this. <laughs> See how cute it is. I put it on my smartphone in order to keep me keep me aside. And eh, don't worry, it, it's just a face. Uh, but anyway, this place was a lot of fun. It was technically like being in in Disneyland for One Piece. And I do remember buying a lot of stuff. Uh, you saw the candies. Uh, you saw me that that I bought the, you know the straw hat. Um, I also bought this, which is which is also one of my favorite characters. Uh, it, 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 uh, when you buy a, a certain amount of money in the in in the in the gift shop, you also have this. They give you this card, and I also have this T-shirt that you've probably seen it on one of my well, one of my movies. So yeah, it was a lot of fun, I'll tell you. Oh, but I do want to tell you the one, uh, one, one stroke of luck that I had with with this day. The thing is that when I was, uh, is that while I was, uh, uh, there were there were some attractions there that you can only play once per uh, per visit, I'll say. And one of the hardest ones is that it's technically kind of like a, a slingshot game in which you have to be very, very precise and very perfect in order to, to win a, a, a mask that is, one, that is the mask of one of the characters. I remember losing the game, but it was a lot of fun. But while I was walking around, I, 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 a lady just comes to me and said, um, Excuse me, I don't need this, but would you like it? She gave me the mask, and I was like, yes, I do. So yeah, she gave me the mask, and I was, and I was really, really happy with it. Also, uh, also, you can, if you notice in the video, um, I went to the live show. It was great. I really, really liked the, the live show. Uh, I participated on some games that, it, it, that you can buy a picture, a, a picture with it. And that was the third day. Um, actually, that was the fourth day. Uh, yeah, fourth day. Uh, but I was trying to get him ready to go to Kyoto, in which I never expected that half, uh, kind of like a quarter of the trip, I had to be standing. But I was lucky to that I was talking with an uh, with an old man, in which, thanks to him, he showed me the only shot I had of Mount Fuji, because. When I was on the trip return, my return trip, it was foggy, and they told me that Japan sometimes gets foggy enough so much that you can't see Mount Fuji. That I was the was the big luck struck of luck. But it, but there I got to I got to, to I got to Kyoto in, in which uh, the, the in which it feels a little bit more rural compared to Tokyo, and this is. And this is where, I, and uh, well, the, the, you saw it on the video. Most of the things that you that I did there. Okay, stories about Kyoto. Uh, first story: uh, uh, while walking around that marketplace, uh, there was this there was this cream machines that I want that I decided to try out, and there were, it was it was a small place, and there the. The clerks are watching you, giving you tips on how to play, but I was so, so, uh, how can I say, uh, so determined to, to win, uh, 
uh, this uh, this Rorno Soro uh, Soro model, and it was and the guy tried to help me out. He gave me tips, but I was keep losing and losing, and I think that I spent like three thousand yen to, in uh, of uh, trying my best to do that. So much, but I lost <laughs> again. I lost, but so but apparently. I think the clerk took pity on me, and he said, you know what, you did your best, here's the prize. <laughs> imagine, imagine that, I'm, I'm getting a little, a little bit more respect to, uh, to the Japanese if they're, if they're that generous for the, for the things that you, uh, uh, for an UFO machine. Oh, and I also went to a gat, uh, you know, one of those gachapon machines, in which one of the one of one of these things is that they give you a surprise Undertale, uh, Undertale keychain, and and guess what? Guess what char Guess what character I got? I hope people don't kill me. The character I got, it's Sans. <laughs> I got really, really lucky because Sans is a fan favorite. Although I won a Toriel, but well, South Sans, I'm happy with it. And 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 also in in Kyoto, I gotta admit something, and I'm gonna sound a little bit dirty, but this was kind of like the first time that, out of curiosity, in in a bookstore, I went to the adult section. Um. Boy, that it was like the first time that there was kind of like not much restrictions for the for the adult section, so much that yeah, uh, uh, there were no guards or anything. There was just the clerks looking at you, and uh, probably uh, probably they're making sure that children don't go there. But it's not like they uh, they are kind of like in a locked room or something like that. Sometimes they they have kind of like a whole f whole floor. Fill, fill with them. It was my first time doing that. And no, I didn't do it, you know, to just to buy 30 magazines. I just did it, you know, to, uh, to, to be curious. Okay, another funny story that I want to tell you. Because uh, during uh, my video of going to the Golden pa Pavilion, remember that, I, that one of the moments I say that I got lost? Yeah, I got lost again. But this time, this, this, this is probably one of the mo my most embarrassing ones. Because, after visiting the uh, King Kakuji, the Golden Pavilion, uh, I, uh, I wanted to go to the Bamboo Grove, uh, uh, in which I had to take a bus. I waited for an hour for that, for that specific bus. But this bus, took me to the wrong quarters and I don't know what the hell was going on and probably it's because it was a weekend I probably it was that but 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 I got down and spent money again on that bus to so it can at least drop me by again by the King Kakuji in order to to retrace my steps nothing so I made the ultimate sacrifice that I had to pay a taxi to drive me in. It took an hour to get there, and I was getting worried that how much this guy was gonna charge me. But thankfully, the guy was so nice that he gave me a discount. Uh, so, but let me tell you that this wasn't the only moment that I almost died of panic in this in 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 this day because it's, it you see me sweaty and tired uh, on the. Fox Inari Shrine. It's true. This that place is full of stairs, full of mountain. So much that I think I lost ten pounds being there, and I think that I spent like five, uh, like I think five thousand yen only on drinks because because damn that I never expected that this place was gonna leave me dehydrated. So again, hydrate well, kids. But but I was so eager for the next day because the next day, 
it was going to be the, the, uh, the, the day I always wanted to do, which is going to the Osama Tesk Museum in Takarasuka. This place was wonderful. I, um, even as a, as a kid, I always wanted to go there. I'm a big fan of Osama Tesk so much that I really bought a, a lot of things that uh, revolving over Osama Tesk. See, I got this, which is based on the Leo or Kim but the White Lion, which is my, my which is my favorite my my favorite show. Um, I even got this <laughs> this uni Unico purse. Uh, I, I also had, had some cookies and all the stuff, which I, I didn't show. Um, this, this, this Phoenix folder, I, I'm really eager for it. And, and, oh, um, uh, this is, this is kind of like the most expensive thing of, of the, of the Osama Tessica thing. You know, you want to know what, what this thing is? Well, I'll show you. It's cups. Glass cups. I'm gonna be careful with these. I don't... I haven't even used them a single time. It has Kim the White Lion, Astro Boy, Unico, Sapphire the Princess Knight, and of course, Black Jack. That was the most expensive item of the mall. It cost, oh, here's the, here's the price tag. It cost 1,980 uh, yen, which is basically kind of like $20. $20. One of the biggest regrets that I have on um, going to the museum is that there was also this big phoenix toy that I wanted it, but I couldn't buy it because first of all, I was scared of my budget and I didn't want it to put on so much, so much weight uh, uh, on, my, uh, on my back, on my packs. So that was the biggest regret that I have. And I was also very, I was very surprised to meet this this lady uh, who also apparently she's also a YouTuber uh, in which I did find her her YouTube channel and and it was it was it was a, it was a nice moment I'll say but one thing I'll tell you is that this day it, it became kind of like one of my favorite days of my life and and I and I put that on my bucket list and it's now complete. The next day was the Silver Pavilion, the, the International Manga Museum, and a visit to the spa in which a lot of the spa visits uh, on my videos you didn't see mostly because it was restricted. Besides, I bet nobody would like to know that once you go inside you have to be completely naked. Uh, you, you're gonna you're gonna see a lot of butt cheeks and then and bananas of, 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 in my case, men of different a a ages. And, but honestly, this, it, it, it was, it, I took that opportunity to finally rest my feet. So much that I even paid out for, uh, 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 how can I say, uh, uh, a massage a session in which uh, this one really healed up my feet. They were hurting like hell because imagine how much I walked during these whole these days. But one of the things that I, I didn't like about it is that well while, while there were food and, and everything, I wanted to order some soba noodles. I wanted to try out what is uh, why the cold soba noodles are basically a tradition in Japan. And while uh, in the video, I was saying that mm, it tastes good, but it didn't have a good aftertaste. So, uh, so that left me a little bit more hungry. So much that near the hostel that I went to, uh, there was this this ramen shop in which it had it had a curry ramen, which is technically my 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 favorite kind of ramen. Uh, and there lived this elderly couple in which 
They were really nice. I even had a conversation with them so much that I even promised that one day of these, if I had the luck and the chance to go back to Kyoto, I want to visit. I want to visit this ramen shop again and have another cup of noodles. That is the promise that I gave this el nice elderly couple. That I will always, I will always remember them for their their kindness and their generous. Uh, generous, I, how can I say, uh, uh, well, relationship that we just kind of began to talk. And they gave me luck um, for my trip. Because the next day, boy oh boy, the next day it was uh, Hirosh Hiroshima. Um, this, this, let me tell you guys, during the editing, this was the hardest episode I ever done. But not just because of the, of the editing skills. But mostly because I do remember that while I was putting the episodes, uh, the more I began to you know see the images, putting the images, watching them, and it, there is some certain sadness that you feel so much that it leaves you really drain. Of course, that while being there, it was of course so it, it I, I, the experience is not exactly painful, but. It makes you feel bad and makes you think a lot of, about it. So, if you go to Hiroshima, I really recommend you to go there, even with your children, and educate them about the about the consequences of the atomic bomb. So, so much that while well, I was doing the I was editing the episode, I didn't even thought about how to end it. So, while well, looking at all these. I did plan that I wanted to end the episode with the singing of this girl uh, that I I just recorded almost the whole session of her singing. But how to end it properly to, to at least get some impact. So what happened is that then it occurred to me about that that episode of what 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 do we learn Charlie Brown? So this is I thought that I decided that this uh, this message that Linus give it's so universal that it, 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 it should be not left only for the, the people that died on World, on World War One or World War Two or whatever war you think of. This was pretty universal, so this is why I decided to end it with, it, with this Charlie Brown clip. Uh, but for, on the happier note of Hiroshima, uh, there are some other things that you're going to love about this. Uh, about this city apart from, you know, seeing how admirable they recover from that catastrophe. One of them is the Okonomiyaki, which uh, there is this restaurant that the, uh, that the owner of the hotel uh, recommended me. And it is technically a big, uh, uh, kind of like a floor, uh, it's a building with six floors. And all the six floors, are there are different stands of Okonomiyaki. And I take the, the the last one in a corner because I wanted the traditional one, and my God, this thing is delicious. I love it. It's, and and then I went outside in order to uh, in, in, in order to get back to the hotel. But it was I was caught by surprise that there was a second festival there. Uh, and, but I just kept walking, and but right in the corner, I got this kept distracting because I found this I found that Goku statue. In which is actually a shonen jump shop, where I took advantage to buy some other stuff. Uh, one one of these stuff is, is uh, believe it or not, the thing the things that I mostly bought are mostly Gintama, uh, stuff from um, another uh, another favorite show, which is none other than Gintama. Especially this uh, this bag. Nowadays, I'm using this bag whenever I go for small shops or groceries. So, technically, it's like having Gintama everywhere. Oh, uh, I think I, I have another item here that I want you to see. Um, oh, there it is. <laughs> Any Gintama fan will recognize this. <laughs> yep. Whatever you want to sleep. <laughs> it was a small shop, but it was fine. Um, uh, then I, I went back to the hotel. I, I talked to, I talked to the hotel manager, and, and he invited me to to this 
sake because it was the International Sake Festival Day. <laughs> I'm not exactly an alcoholic, but I do I do wanted to pay you know have my respect you know to people that bring you some sake and you kindly accept it and and well hold it on again I'm not a sa I'm not an alcoholic guy uh, but he was also kind enough to give me a map that will that will help me for the next day which is going to Rabbit Island um it is a very cute place I'll I'll, I'll leave it at that um. But man, if you're a sucker of cute things like me, man, that you're not gonna get disappointed. Of course, that there are some areas that you can't go because they're highly dangerous since since the island was previously uh, a, 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 a poison gas factory. Uh, and also. Also, you have to go according to the rules that you must not pick up the rabbits, you must not give them uh, foreign food to the rabbits, even though some people, uh, uh, they brought carrots and, and lettuce, but okay, who's listening then? I do remember that I bought some uh, some souvenirs to help to make me remember by. Oh yeah, even this cute li this little fella. <laughs> I hope you like it. <laughs> uh, uh, but during that same day, uh, after I finished my uh, my trip, uh, I had to take the long road to to go to Osaka, which I got lost again. And I went to this uh, I went to the wife's cabin, which it was the the first and only time where I I stayed in a castle hotel. It was nice, let me tell you. This is that was that hostel is probably the most uh, kind of like the uh, the most luxurious of them all. Uh, it, it 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 had spa. It had it had nice beds. Uh, even the castle had their own TV. And that was the first time that I finally watched uh, Japanese TV. The first um, this, these are some that I began to notice a few things about it. For example. Can you believe that some cartoons, they start out showing at kind of like between 6 or 7 p.m. I think that, uh, uh, I think that uh, that is the, the, the correct time for cartoons. But man, I do remember that I saw Yokai Watch at 7 p.m. at that time. It was a, it was a, fri it was a Friday night. I, I, I do remember that. And, and and what what stories can I tell you? Uh, can I tell you about Osaka? I went. It, you saw me that I went to the Satintaka Tower. Uh, and I, I went to Osaka Castle, uh, which was which again it was pretty nice. I and there I you saw that I won this plastic shirt and that I got it on, you know, on my trunk. I also bought a ninja mask. Uh, that that I didn't show you. I went to the cat. I went to the castle. At, at first, I was skeptical to go there because I was kind of like, I, I don't know. Is there? It, I was very skeptical because I didn't know if this was gonna be kind of boring or, or, or it's gonna be. I wanted. I was kind of like I didn't wanted to learn history, but I. But my mind is like, no, this is gonna. If there's a once and this is a this is an opportunity of a lifetime. Then I decided to go, but before that. Uh, you also see me that I was lucky to see a wedding uh, happening there. And the funny thing that happened there is that I did want to take myself a photo. Uh, uh, and there were some guys that they were, they were there with, with samurai armors and toy swords in order to, uh, in order to help, you know, having their photograph business. But I got a little bit cheeky. So instead of picking at least two swords, I decided to pick three swords and go like right like sorrow. He even he, even the even the guy, photograph guy is like, whoa, you wrote on that photo. <laughs> uh, it, it was it was kind of embarrassing, but at the same time it was fun, and so I really liked it. Uh, but you also see in the video that uh, that after I, I finished Osa uh, vis my visit to Osaka Castle. I felt that I, I wanted to fill out some, some more time. So, 
So I decided to take opportunity to take some ninja classes that that is kind of on the back of of, of the building near the of the Osaka uh, the Osaka Castle, and although there there is, there is I didn't have time or money for an hour class, so you could pay for a twenty minute class. This this master was really nice, I tell you, and he he it. He really taught me some of the basics of sword fighting, um, and I like it. Somehow I feel that I have some small potential on sword fighting, and it's mostly, but that's just me bragging about it. And then, yeah, you saw uh, uh, I'm spending my night on uh, on Osaka, and then prepare the next day, which I is to going to Nara Park, in which yeah, you see me with the deers. It was it, it was it was good. Uh, the only bad thing about Nar about Nara Park is that uh, is that you saw me uh, near the bronze the bronze Buddha statue. I decided to go for a fortune, but the fortune kind of told me that your luck sucks. I was so pissed off that that uh, that I just ripped the, the fortune apart and I, did, I, I just got rid of it. There was also uh, there was also I didn't show you the. That I went to the Nara Park Museum because a lot of the, a, there's not much to see. There's a lot of statues, a lot of paintings, and and a lot of them are restricted. Especially the special exhibition, which is this teacup with 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 very detailed paintings, in which I didn't bother to to uh, to go there, but I did see it. By the way, a lot of it was a, a long line that. You can you walk around only to see this this teacup, but but with really really curious uh, uh, details in it. I, I tried to find one uh, the picture of that thing on internet, but I couldn't find it. Oh, you know what? Scratch that. Um, I I, I want to tell you that. Uh, this is one of my sketchbooks, and I decided to use that sketchbook to turn it a little bit into a scrapbook of the things that I do. Remember that I told you that I didn't find a picture on the internet about that, about that teacup? Well, yeah, it's true. I didn't get it, uh, uh, I, I didn't find a picture on the internet, but I found the ticket with, with the teacup there. There it is. I hope you can see it. Over there. Uh, yep, uh, there. That's the teacup. That that that's the teacup. Really, and it, I remember that it was really small compared to the real thing. Uh, then I went to the next day where I went to the uh, to the aquarium, um, and you, most of the things that you've seen is, is of course seen on um, video. And and of course I went to Spa World, which is which basically is it is a spa it is a spa where you I, I gave myself my second time to relax. And then I finally and then the next day I went back to to uh, to Tokyo in order to to make my you know the final things. Going to the Gundam is actually kind of like a last minute thing. I, but mostly I decided to go there because a friend of mine uh, kind of suggested me and he told me at least to go there and since I had kind of like no plans during that day after my re uh, after my return to Tokyo is is that well why not I didn't uh, I didn't do much I just went there seeing the Gundam uh, the Gundam transform in which at seven p at seven p.m. they go with the classical gun uh, Gundam scene instead of the Gundam unicorn scene, which is on the uh, which is play on the afternoons. But there was a there was a very very uh, rich hotel uh, on the back that I went there. I gave myself a little bit of a walk. Uh, there was a Shonen Jump uh, nearby, uh, a Shonen Jump store nearby, but they 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 also had this. 3D virtual attraction, uh, where, uh, where, where you you will go and and visit the world of Attack on Titan. So I went there, and if you're asking me what it is, 
is mostly kind of like a 3D simulation of of the of of, of kind of like the events of the of the of the of the second season of of Attack on Titan. That's basically that's basically the best the best way I can describe that. Uh, so after a walk on, on the city, I decided to then go back, and nothing more is done during that city. Then next day, yeah, this one was really really long. I I went to the I went to the to, to, I went to this shopping market. I don't remember the name. Uh, uh, Tokyo Sky Tree, uh, Tokyo Sky Tree, which uh, was unplanned. Uh, then I went to Weno to Weno Park, uh, Weno Park, in order to see the Tokyo Museum. Which, since I like art, I went there. Uh, not much pictures you can you can take. Although sometimes I gotta admit that some of the shots that I did, um, I'm. I, I didn't I didn't do it mostly because I didn't want it to run out of camera batteries because because let me tell you it's just a simple the camera that I have it's not a video camera it's actually more a photographic camera so so I think that this is why the batteries run 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 very fast when you're make, making videos especially and if when you're filming almost every day and so uh, so I stayed there. I took some photos of the ones that I can because videos are not allowed. And then I gave my, my final Pokemon, uh, the final Pokemon Center, in, that, in which this time I finally decided that it is time to go to a shopping spree. So in one of these, I bought this Eevee. <laughs> really cute. I um, actually that was I think that was the only thing that I got, which is. Uh, uh, which is this Eevee. <laughs> uh, but after but after that, here's here's the thing. After the Pokemon Center, I decided that I wanted to go uh, go back to the hotel. But there was this place on that on that mall, which is called Namja Town, and uh, which is technically kind of like an indoor attractions. But one of the attractions it it involves a haunted house visit of Gintama. Um, let me tell you about this, this thing. This play is kind of laughable, but in a good way. What, you think that this is technically kind of like a, a haunted house attraction, but no. What you go is technically what will happen is they make a haunted house by, by the, uh, by the Ajav trio, in which in which they kind of, in which even though I didn't understand a lick of Japanese what they went to, it was fun that when, every time you go, that when you go there in each room, uh, there was a character, the character kind of began to mock you. And you can, in this place, they can only let four or five people at a time. So, and so when I enter with these four people, they go to a room and apparently they, they pick up one person at random to participate into something silly. And I was the first one to be picked out. In which it is for me trying to trying to do karaoke in which in which we have the character of Kagura trying to you know, trying to, you know, making a rap with uh, that with which rhymes with the glasses with which Impachi. Because there was the room, it was uh, there was a barrel with a lot of his, his iconic glasses, uh, you know, on the floor, and of course every uh, every guy gets a pr every guy gets kind of like a commemorate card in order to celebrate that. Yeah, you've been there. Since I was technically on the in the Shinpachi event, they gave me this. <laughs> they gave me this. Oh yeah, there was also a, a, a play, a moment in which you have to find the statue of a char random character. And, and, and so they gave me this, in which when you open it, it has this. I think, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, but the more you advance, you get into some, some kind of lame stuff, but, but only the things that, that the odd jobs will do. Uh, but but of course it, it, it everything ends up with uh, everything ends up with you know being found out by the Shin, Shinsegumi and and the Ajav trio running away, 
there was also there, I forgot to also in, it, it, tell you that the, the funniest joke it involved kind of like uh, trying to jump scare you with a with a with a phone. Uh, that's the that's the best way I can say it. But after that, yeah, I, I decided to give myself a walk, went to Shibuya again because I, I went to the, to the sushi restaurant again because I, I, was, I was craving for it. I blame me for that. And then, yep, next to the next day. The next day was actually kind of a little bit uh, off the map for me. I did want to visit that Suginami Museum, which was very, very far from where I was. So much that I had to take the bus because, uh, and I was getting nervous that I might get lost and waste uh, and spend a lot of money for it because I'm usually thrifty when it's about the, the budget and all this stuff. Uh, the, it was kind of like a small museum, kind of like dignified for a, a kind of like a college exhibition, but it was nice. Uh, there was also this. Uh, there was also this exhibition of this. The yeah, Japanese show called Kaisetsu Sorori, which, uh, for those who doesn't know, is about this is about this fox with a mask, in which he wants to become the king of pranksters, and it, and he does a lot of childish childish things. One thing that I did wanted to tell you is that while I was planning for the trip, I was planning that during that day I wanted to go to this place called Jump World, but then. But then, while I was doing the plans, I kind of realized that this place, they closed down. And I was like, damn it! Damn it, they closed down. Okay, let me go on another alternative. Uh, yeah, there is a toy animation museum kind of nearby. And then, while, and then I asked the, the lady, uh, yeah, I, I want to go to the toy animation mu museum. Oh, it's kind of over there, but... It's close today. Damn it! <laughs> so, my hopes of going to Toy Animation Museum. Gone. So what am I supposed to do? Well, I went to Shinjuku, at least to give give my to watch Kabuki Cho, to see the at least the, where the robot restaurant museum uh, robot restaurant is, I did, I wasn't going to enter because first of all you need a big reservation and it's expensive as frick. Let me tell you, in dollar terms it's kind of like eighty dollars to go there. But at least I see the dime that you know the Godzilla there. Uh, I saw the hotel where I was I'm going to stay during the, my final night in here in Japan, and I also went to the. I also went to, to the another another claw machine that I was so stubborn to lose, but I managed to win this. And then I finally I, I decided to give myself a walk to Akihabara, so to some other places. I uh, here I, I learned about the Mandaraka shop. Uh, there were some things that you didn't see, but I also decided to buy some. Uh, some cute models like this one, and some action ones like uh, because I, I didn't want my 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 Rona Sora to be alone, so I bought Luffy and Sanji there. Uh, by the way, this Luffy you can there is an interchangeable face, but I like this one uh, more or less. I got the face uh, the other face uh, uh, over there. You know what? I'll put it like this for now. But also you notice in the video that I also uh, is that I also went to karaoke. It was a nice place. The only the only thing that they the, the only uh, thing that, that the karaoke tells you is that you must buy at least one drink. Since I'm not alcoholic, at least they let me in at least to drink some soda. And during 30 minutes, you can only sing at least three songs. I would like to go to a karaoke, but this time with friends. But since I was alone, uh, you, you'll see me there. But okay, I'm not exactly a guy who sings, so you can see me sing really, really badly. So I want to apologize if, uh, you, if I ruin you, your ears by, by he hearing me sing. 
truth be told, the next day, uh, I, I didn't even knew what to do because I kind of cover almost everything. The best way I wanted to say is that that day I wanted to make kind of like a shopping spree. Uh, most of the things that I did is mostly for my family, but in ways I couldn't resist. I decided to go to the best place I went to uh, in Tokyo Tower, and that is going back to the One Piece Tower, and this time going to an attraction that I didn't go uh, the, on the first visit, because because there there is this attraction called called uh, kind of like Luffy's Journey, in which it's basically kind of like a, a small fun house with Luffy in it, but, uh, with the, the the things that you see you know on the on on the video. But the, but, but the problem, the, why I couldn't go there, is that that place, they close it down on a, on a certain, uh, in the afternoon in order for, to make the photo sessions uh, in, which, in which that one I took uh, the first time I visited. So I went there early this time to go to that attraction and I don't regret it. I also take the buffet stuff, the, the a la carte style on the, on the restaurant because that restaurant has two, 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 two types of, of dining. The first one is the buffet style, which, which is in the, from, from, the, from the morning to the after, afternoon, and, and the carta style, which is the one that I ate on that, at, at that time. And, and, and then I saw, the, I saw again, you know, the show, because I love the show, but this time I didn't went too picky, uh, you know, I'm taking shots of the camera. This time I, uh, this time I really enjoy watching the show and I only took pictures when I, well, when it do. Oh uh, yeah, and I also uh, got myself this. The, 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 the another t-shirt, but with, with, but with soda. And, and here's another awesome story that I got. I, I became, I was becoming friends uh, with, the, uh, with the people from, from the hotel. That on that same day, I came back, I was, I was coming from the hostel, hostel. And I told them, hello, I'm back. Uh, guess what? I'm back from the Tok from, from Tokyo Tower. And I told them about the One Piece, the, the, about One Piece. And then, the, one of the, one of the one of the owner of the hotel, he told me that hey, you know what? I went to this, I went to the this rice bowl restaurant, and and they gave me they gave me this card because apparently this rice bowl card, they are pr promoting One Piece. He and and he when he got the card, he thought that. I think I'm gonna give it to you because I think you're gonna like it. And guess what it is? It was carrot. Yeah. Let me tell you, I got so happy that I gave him up. I gave him a big giant hug, and I was like, "Thank you, Arigato, Arigato, my side fast. It was awesome." <laughs> This dude knew me, and boy, that this I became so happy. It was amazing, let me tell you. So yeah, anyway, <laughs> continuing on the next uh, the next day, it was me saying goodbye to the people at the hostel because I made a reservation that for the for my final night, I was going I was gonna spend big. In the in the Gracery Hotel in Shinjuku, because there is the Godzilla room. This Godzilla room, let me tell you guys, is really expensive, and so much that uh, so much that this is a room that I recommend you if you go with two people. But I was alone and didn't know that it was obligatory that you need two people because or else this is gonna feel a little bit that you spent you know half your budget. Also, because because the gift that they give you, they give you out gifts gifts that is worth uh, for two people. So I got double the price that I got. Uh, I, I I opened one of them. The other I still have the other half of the items, and, and I got it there just in case. I don't know how I'm gonna use them. I don't know if I'm gonna raffle them or something like that. 
or I'm gonna keep it in order if, 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 if just in case the other one breaks. But anytime, but anyway, I did some last minute things and I do remember that the whole night I couldn't sleep because I was so eager because the next day was was gonna be my final day. It was it was it was me yeah, me going back to you know, going back to the States. I spent there almost all night. I gave myself a little bit of a slumber party. And even I put TV the TV, I managed to see some midnight shows. And I can't believe that at midnight they show Black Clover. I never seen Black Clover, and from what I saw from that show, I don't think it was a show for me. It was boring. But 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 I but I but then the next day came, I woke up, um, and finally went to the, I finally made my final shot and, and then, you know, home. I do remember that on the hotel, I did, I did want to see on the internet, um, I find out, uh, this channel of the driving mutants, uh, going on around the, their movie of Godzilla, which coincidentally, I watched the Godzilla King of the Monster the, the previous day. I made, I gave out my final comments and then I went back home. So, yeah, basically those are technically my final comments about this. I after that, uh, yeah, you, uh, you saw, you saw, you know, my 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 small sketch of what did I did after I finally back got back home. I began to watch some of the movies that I missed for the Blogging Plaza. Uh, I saw Brightburn, which I like, Aladdin, I hated it, and so on, so on, so on. Uh, but at the same time, I began to work on the project, which, which, it, it, I thought that it's gonna take me a little time, but personal things, uh, some, uh, some, uh, the, the quality of the, uh, the, the quality of the things that you want to do, uh, some technical difficulties that it gave me, it took me long that I, longer than I thought. It took me eight, uh, eight months in total to finish this. And I've been working really, really hard on, di on this one. And, but lo and behold, um, I finally did it. And the biggest reason I made this is mostly because I wanted to make, uh, to give myself some memories of, of, of this trip that I did. I know that probably uh, you might thinking that it was kind of like bad timing that I began to to bring out uh, this videos considering the situation that, that that the world is, but but I want you you to think of that I did this mostly for the entertain for the entertainment value. I wanted to share you my experiences that uh, about this travel that I've been planning for a long time that it might come or not come again and even if I go to another country or another town it is good to leave out some mark and have some fun doing something that that your family friends or other people might want to share and and honestly I feel grateful of doing it I don't regret doing it I, I had a lot of fun doing it I am really, really grateful for all the people who who watched the, 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 this videos. So, so anyway, uh, that was for me the my my, uh, my my visit my anxious adventure in Japan. And to celebrate, I think it is a good time to finally use one of the cups. Here, I cheer for a good future for everyone, uh, hoping for, uh, f hoping for good travels, good videos, good friends, good connections, good memories. No matter, uh, no matter the situation, no matter every, no matter what is happening. Uh, I have nothing much to say, but thank you, Japan. Sayonara, and kenpai.